to tennis star Maria Sharapova speaking out for the first time after admitting she failed a drug test amid new allegations now. She ignored several warnings about that banned drug. ABC's Lindsay Davis has the latest. Just two days after publicly disclosing she'd failed a drug test. On January 1st, the rules had changed and meldonium became a prohibited substance, which I had not known. Maria Sharapova has a message of gratitude for her fans this morning. In an open letter posted on her website, she writes, I woke up yesterday morning with an inbox in full capacity of love and compassion. Sharapova may be feeling the love of her fans, but that sentiment is not shared by some of the major corporations that help make her the world's highest paid female athlete. There's no opponent but yourself. Porsche, Nike, and Tag Heuer all suspending their ties to the 28-year-old tennis star in the wake of the failed drug test. While the drug meldonium is used to treat heart ailments, some studies suggest it may also boost endurance. It showed a lot of courage to admit to what she had done, and with that being said, it's just taking the responsibility, which she admitted that she was willing to do. Sharapova's lawyer tells ABC News that she was taking a low dose of the drug at the recommendation of a family doctor to address several issues, including irregular EKG tests, and that she was unaware meldonium was found within the medication. But the Times of London reports she'd been warned to stop taking the substance five times. But her attorney says this really is a very honest mistake by a very good woman who takes her career very seriously. When or how Sharapova can win back the respect of the public remains to be seen. But she's made it clear she wants to return, writing in her open letter, I'd like to play again and hope to have the chance to do so. A spokesperson for Russia's president said the situation should not be presented in such a way that it somehow casts a shadow on all Russian sports. But some good news for the Russian tennis star sports equipment company Head says it plans to extend her endorsement deal, saying it seems it was all an honest mistake. Right now they seem to be taking an innocent until proven guilty stance. All right. Lindsay, thanks so much.